What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down an exclusive story regarding the first X-Men set to make their debut in the MCU, and it may not be who you expected. But before we dive in, if you could, grab that subscribe button so you can qualify for a brand new giveaway I'll be doing. So if you want, stay tuned to the end of the video for the rest of those details. Anyways, there's quite a bit to unpack, so need I say more? Let's dive right in. For context, this news is coming from Marvel insider Mikey Sutton, who is not only my friend but also a very credible source in the industry, so take that as you will. Essentially, this is part one of a two-part Mikey Sutton scoot jam with Pete's basement. But according to Mikey, the first X-Men fans will see in the MCU may be one of the most unexpected ones, at least to be initially introduced. Sutton has heard from several inside sources that Rogue is being developed to be a key figure in rebooting the X-Men under the intense vision of Kevin Feige. Just like her comic book debut in 1981's class Classic Avengers Annual Number 10, Rogue will appear as a villain, a member of a mutant terrorist group. Whether this organization is called the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants remains to be seen, as Sutton was told their name might be shortened as simply the Brotherhood. And for those of you that are unaware, the Brotherhood is a group devoted to mutant superiority, led by Magneto. However, Feige apparently wants to place Magneto on the shelf for a while due to Fox burnout, so they will most likely have a different leader, which makes quite a bit of sense considering that the MCU's X-Men will be unlike anything we've seen before compared to their previous run over at Fox. An option they discussed was to use the Marauders with Mr. Sinister as the head instead, as no script for the X-Men has been written yet, this information is based off brainstorming talks. But where will Rogue show up first? Rogue is being developed to appear in the Captain Marvel franchise, either in 2 or 3 as a villain. And we all know that won't last for long. And who else is gearing up to debut in Captain Marvel 2? Go to Pete's Basement for Part 2. Having said that, what are your thoughts on this reveal? Sound off with your thoughts down below. Now let's get into the giveaway details. I will be giving away the first exclusive Superhero Bus t-shirt that is now available in all sizes. And all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you next time.